Hi guys, Denise Posnack Gaffney here, Core Talk. It is Tuesday, November 28th. Thanksgiving is done. Did you do your turkey trot? Um, I did a Core Talk last Wednesday in which I encouraged you to do a turkey trot. And because I did that on Thursday, even though I didn't feel like doing one, I did one and I felt so much better. It was awesome. So I just want to step in. Here we are in our holiday season. It has started. It is going. It is fully going. And I wanted to give you my three-step process to holiday wellness. Um, and it's nice for yourself. I'm creating this. And if you create your three things, pick three things only to focus on. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe three. One is good. Three is good. Um, uh, to pick those just three things and have those be your mantra during the holiday season. So the three things that I'm going to give you um, that you can take with you, write them down if you'd like and put them in your mind, maybe even just for today, um, are one, value this season. So, so many of us love the holidays. We know we want to do so many things. We want to go to the parties. We want to go see the lights. We want to, you know, it, we want to have the gingerbread latte that goes away after the holiday season. There's so much that's actually, that's seasonal, right? And you want to get to it all. And yet it's a crazy busy time of the year. And so, you know, it gets a little nutty and we don't get to do everything we wanted to do. So the first step is to actually value the things that you value in the season. So take a moment, maybe that's today, maybe that's this evening, write down the things you want to do this season. Start there and plan it out. Put it on your calendar, um, make a plan and, um, you know, really pay attention to the fact that that is something you want to do. That will make you feel good about your holiday season to start. The second step to this process is to commit to healthy habits when you can. So let's realize that we are going to go, you know, we want, again, I'll bring up the gingerbread latte. We, we want that gingerbread latte. We might want it once a week for the rest of December or twice a week. We want to be able to have those fun Christmas cocktails at the parties we're going to. We want to have all of those handmade cookies that our um, coworkers are bringing in. We do want to have all of these things and we don't want to limit ourselves. However, we need to create some balance because if we go too far in that direction, we don't feel good. January rolls around and we punish ourselves with extreme workouts or extreme dieting. It doesn't work. So I want you to commit to your healthy habits when you can. So what that might look like is every meal you have by yourself or every meal you have that you're not at a party, you are going to make sure it's a healthy one. And you're going to stick to your health, 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 healthiest self every time you can. Okay. Maybe you're also going to add in one or two exercise, um, uh, extra exercise routines in the week. So you add in an extra class or you add in an extra run just to again, create balance and then drink a lot of water. That's a big thing. So commit to uh, value your holiday season, know what you want to do Two, commit to your healthy habits when you can. And the third step to this process is letting things go. And this has to do with step one, letting things go that you can let go. So yes, you want to write your Christmas cards. Yes, you want to decorate your tree. Yes, you want to have a party. Yes, you want to take your kid to see Santa. Yes, all of these things take time. So there are things you have to be willing to let go of. So no, I'm not going to, um, you know, whatever it is, do that extra thing for my work right now. No, I'm not going to also try to fill in the blank. So think about the things you can let go so that you can let your holiday season in. And as long as you're not letting go of your healthy habits, that will help you tremendously feel well, feel 
um, thrive during the season, feel good, enjoy it, expand the time of it. And that's it. So those are my three tips. Have an awesome Tuesday. Tomorrow, I'm going to be breaking down one Pilates move that um, I consider meditative, something you can do every day during the holiday season. So meet me tomorrow morning at nine to do that. Um, and come on over to the website. The website is new. It is live. So come on over, check it out, sign up for our email list, and I will see you soon. Bye.